Hi, I am Victor Florenza. Thank you for watching my channel. And remember, if the contents of my videos are of your interest, please subscribe. And if you like them, hit the like button. Great. So we have been lucky enough to get invited to a cabin crew assessment day. The very first thing we need to do is prepare well for the interview. Although for some people it may work attending interviews with no preparation, I would not recommend it. Therefore, please prepare for the interview and bear in mind that airlines usually handle hundreds of applications for this type of positions. Taking this part up, how do we prepare for the interview? A few tips would be that you research, for example, the history of the airline, which aircrafts they fly, do they belong to an important alliance, are they famous or prestigious about something in particular, amongst other useful bits of information about the company. Right, so we are now arriving to the assessment day well prepared and with all the relevant documents that we have been asked to bring along. Always remember to get to your assessment day well ahead of time. What's next? Most airlines nowadays will use the same recruitment formats and methodologies on their assessment days. Most common ones are the following. A role play. This is where you will be given a scenario that you will briefly prepare. And then you will be put in a situation where there may be a conflict with a customer and they will test your abilities to handle the situation as if it was a real problem on board an aircraft. This usually is quite similar to common problems found whilst working as cabin crew or dealing with the public. Another type of interview technique is what is known as group discussions. Here you will be sat with a few other candidates and you will be given a problem task to resolve together within a time frame imposed exactly as you would on board an aircraft. Bear in mind that usually airlines expect you to work well as a team, therefore always try to be talkative, but be always considerate, respectful and kind to your other candidates. Moreover, allow others to talk as well. Always remember that together everyone achieves more. Last but not least, a very common interview technique is what is known as behavioral interviews. These nowadays are carried either physically with your recruiters or by video, typically prior to attending the assessment day. In this type of interviews, you will be asked about a situation that you have experienced in the past. How did you handle it and what did you learn out of it? These are the type of questions such as, tell us about a time where you had to deal with a difficult customer or about a conflict with your team or that you exceeded customer expectations, etc. For those of you that have no prior customer care experience, do not worry too much about it, but be prepared to answer scenarios about real life issues, difficulties, etc. and how you handle them. Great, so how do we answer these behavioral interviews? It is highly recommended to use the STAR technique, which basically means situation, task, action and results. Therefore, when faced a question of this nature, tell us about a time, try to answer the question by focusing on its situation, what was going on, its task, what were you doing, actions, how did you handle the problem, and results, what did you learn, achieve out of it. This way, you will make sure you tell the recruiters what they want to hear from you. I am Victor Florenza, thank you once again for watching, you may follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn. And remember, together we will fly higher.